So the reason you've called me here today is because of a specific color. And that specific color made by a paint company that you will all know about. But I'm hoping I'm one of the first people you hear it from. It's called Tusk and Pine. And Tusk and Pine is a brainchild of a very talented person named Heather Goldstein. And she wanted to make the best oil paints available. No caveat, period. I'm not gonna list other brands here because I'm gonna be nice. But she wanted to outshine not the worst of them, but the best of them. And when I say outshine, she wanted to make sure her tubes are clearly labeled, that they were pigment filled, not filler filled, that they weren't overstuffed with linseed oil, and that they had the best interpretations of the colors that we all know that could be obtained. And she researched and worked with two wonderful color makers, uh, William and Michael. And for months, I think a year plus more, they've been going and I I've had the great fortune to be able to work with these colors and test them. These are the best oil paints I've ever used. So I was asked after I was testing it, uh, Heather asked me if there was a color, the colors that I was interested in. And I said, there are. And there are a few colors, but the very first color I was interested in was a green. And the reason for it had to do with something my art teachers used to tell me, which is don't use black. I figured out why they told us this, but they never gave the reason is that they didn't want us to rely on black like, to darken a color. It, it's, a, it's a silly statement, and I don't know if any of us ever questioned our professors. So when I was given the opportunity for a color, I'm like, I'm gonna make a color with black. Why? Because so many old masters made colors with the use of black. They used black as a color. So I thought one of the colors that I love to mix with black, matter of fact, my, what is green. Because we were taught in grammar school that blue and yellow make green. I think it's on, you know, color charts and stuff. And it does, and it makes gorgeous greens. But black and yellow makes beautiful greens and different. And again, they're not one over the other. They're just a different green. And it's something that people don't think to make. And I thought, how cool would it be to make a black green? It's called, it's named after me. So, and I'm very um, proud to have paint named after me. Uh, Wellington, Ver Noir. Ver Noir means Ver, green, noir, black. And it's a mid-tone green mixed with just black and uh, a bright yellow. It makes a beautiful mid-tone landscapey green. It is like a, a perfect out of the tube color. This is the first introduction of my black green. And what again inspired me in a way was teachers telling me not to use black and knowing that they were wrong and knowing that black, in fact, shouldn't be thought as a darkening tool, but as a color in itself to be mixed. 